Hello everybody. Happy Monday and I hope that everyone's had a great first day of their post and enjoyed all of your posts that you saw today. Make sure you're commenting on the post and if you have any questions about anything, do not hesitate to ask me a question. You can message me via Facebook Messenger or you can, it's under Valerie Rimschel or Pamper Chef with Val or you can message me at the phone number that I've uh, put in the welcome and that should be pinned to the top. So I'm super excited to show you guys a lot of tools. My sister-in-law and her husband have moved into a new home and uh, so they've been pretty crazy moving in this heat and so I'm gonna be cooking them a meal and I've done this one a couple of times because it's just so good. It's a chicken spaghetti. And uh, my friend Danielle Granville got me going on this because we did this for the band uh, banquet. And so I thought, oh my gosh, this is such a good thing to take to people too. So it's not a Pamper Chef recipe, but it is so good and I use all the Pamper Chef tools. And just because it's not a Pamper Chef recipe doesn't mean that you cannot use Pamper Chef. Um, so I'm gonna start some things, so cooking some things, and I'm gonna tell you about some of those specials that I talked to you about yesterday. And I've already been cooking some chicken breasts slowly, and I used my little square griddle, or grill pan, with the square lid. I love this thing. Now, we, the one that the lid came with is called the square grill pan, griddle, sorry, and it's got a collapsible um, silicone colander with it. But I used the grill with it because I wanted just to have a little bit of grill marks on the chicken, which it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna chop it up. But y'all, our cookware is amazing. It is a non-stick type of cookware. It has a lifetime warranty and you can put it in the dishwasher if you need to. You won't have to because it's clean so easily. But the best thing about this is, look at here, it has a removable handle. So I can store it like that without the handle sticking out and taking up a lot of space. Or if I'm cooking a lot of things on my stove top, I don't have to worry about that getting knocked over everywhere. I can have four cooked pieces of cookware on top of it and it's not gonna be worried, I'm not gonna worry about the handles or anything. All you do is you just pull this little handle back, just like that, there's a button, and you just slide it on just like that and you can do it with one hand. Um, and then to take it off, you slide that button back and take it off. And now this doesn't go in the oven, so what you'll do is you'll do like this, you'll put it in the oven, pull the button back, take it off, and then to take it out of the oven, pull the button back, put it back on. Now, it took me a few times to get it. I'm not gonna you know, lie, but it, it once you get it, it's like, oh my gosh, it's so easy. You just pull the button back, put it on. And another great thing, I'm not gonna show you with this one, because I don't want you to get dirty, but look at here, no rivets, okay? I don't have, uh, I, I have, I have so much kitchen stuff. My cabinets are spilled, but I use it all. I don't, I've tried to purge and it's like, I use it. And some of the products, you know, you don't need all the time, but when you do need it, you need it. So I'm not going to get rid of just, just because so I have space. I'm making room. So I had this pot rack up here before our handles come off and it's staying up there. So you can use it with the handles or you can I have a lot stored underneath here. So anyhow, so I cooked this chicken. At, it was frozen chicken breast and it was very slow. I just kind of forgot about it. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and show you how I'm going to chop it. I'm gonna put it in my classic batter bowl because that's the best thing to chop it with, okay? Now, and I have to tell you all this too. I don't have all the ingredients, so I have to go to the grocery store and get some of the ingredients. So luckily this recipe is one that you can do and use if you, um, you know, with recipe or ingredients that you have. Like, I usually always have, for some reason, I have cream of chicken soup and I have cream of mushroom soup. Now my cream of chicken soup, I have too much, so I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get a smaller can. But I have cream of chicken and I have rotel. Those are just always things that I have because a lot of recipes call for that. So look at this, y'all. This is the broth that I will be adding to the uh, chicken spaghetti because we don't waste any of that good stuff, okay? So here's two chicken breasts. I'm gonna take my salad chopper and watch the magic happen. It's not just a salad chopper, it's two blades and they are sharp as all get out. It has the spring, so all you have to do is squeeze it. And that's what I like about this is that you hardly have to work at all. 
Now, the other day I made, I think, four recipes of this. And so what I did, I added the chicken, I did these two like this, and then I added, now sometimes what you'll do is you'll twitch your hand around so you can kind of scoop it up just like that. Just like that. And there it is, it's already chopped up and ready to go. The recipe calls for, um, it calls for a canned chicken, but I don't like canned chicken. And so anyhow, I just use fresh chicken and it's just so much easier. But what was I gonna say? Oh, so what I was saying was what I did, so then do these two on the bottom and then you add more chicken and chop away because otherwise you'll have to go down there and scoop out from the bottom. So just keep adding to it, chop, 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 and then add to it, chop, chop, chop. If you do get a lot, then just get it like this and, and scoop it with the scoop. Now I do wanna tell you this too. Here's the little latch, but there you'll see little grooves right here. You see there's chicken in there. So what I do is I put it in the sink with water right away so it doesn't get hard and doesn't get stuck in there. So it's easier to do that. So here's our chicken. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid because chicken does not smell very good to me. <laughs> Cook chicken like that. So now we're gonna make, go do some cheese dip. We have Rotel and I'm using, oh, forgot to get my knife. Let me show y'all my knife block. Look at that beautiful knife block set. And oh, I think I did get, yes I did. If you want that knife block free, message me and I'll tell you how to do that, okay? So I'm taking a whole pound, of, uh, two pounds of Velveeta and I don't need the whole two pounds. I'm gonna take one pound and we're going to put this in our, this is called the micro cooker. This is the largest and you can buy these as a set of three micro cookers or you can buy them individually. And y'all, you just have to have these because if you like cheese dip, then you definitely want this. I bought I I bought this to make the micro cookers to make cheese dip because we are the cheese dip family. We love cheese dip. And notice all I have to do is put the whole block like this. And then all I'm gonna do is add a can of Rotel. I don't have to dice this, I don't have to slice this. I just put the whole block in here. Then we're gonna take the smooth edge can opener, look at here. No icky food on here, but I'm gonna wash my hands because I've got some cheese on there. You put this, there's nothing on there, and I haven't washed it, it's just dead never touch the food. You put it flat on the can, and then you start turning, just like this. You go all the way around, and I lift it, lift it up off the table so that it doesn't cause any friction. So here we go here. Did you hear it pop? There you go, and now I'm gonna turn it the other way, and then it comes off. Then I'm gonna punch this button and it's gonna pinch off the lid because you can't hardly lift off the lid so you, with your hands. So you've gotta pinch it and that way, you know, you don't have to touch it. And then I don't have to touch that, I just drop it, okay? And look at that. No dirty, icky, sticky can opener and no sharp edges. There's no sharp edges. So now I'm gonna pour this can right in here and when I take this to recycle, which we can't recycle anymore, maybe you take it somewhere, but if you're gonna use it or reuse it, then you can use it for a pencil can and you don't have any sharp edges. Then we take this lid right here, put this, the flat side down, this is a little steamer, put this right, lid right here and then you flip these little leg, the lids over right here. Now I'm gonna put it in the microwave for three minutes. Okay, and then you're gonna see some magic happen. This Velveeta cheese, I'm gonna store in our new cut and store containers, look at this. So I can use this, I can put veggies in here, I can put cheese in here, and then I can take it to lunch and I can use this part to cut on. The lid is also a cutting board, so yay. So that's what I'm storing my uh, Velveeta cheese that I'm not using in. And then one other thing that I wanted to share with you is the new, Look at this new stainless steel colander. I've rinsed off the bell pepper, and we're gonna get, I got to use my paring knife. Y'all, oh, not that one. These knives, I need, I have three of these because these are always in use. Um, and what we do is we just cut off this top part just like this. Some people do it differently than others. Um, so you'll maybe you'll have to share with us what you do, how you cut your bell pepper. Get our little scoop loop right here, and there's lots of uses for our scoop loop, just like this. We'll scoop it all out, 
just like that. And then we're going to cut this in quarters. And this bell pepper is kind of soft. I had this too. Just like this. And then I'm gonna get my food chopper. And y'all will love the food chopper. Take this right here and look at here. The blade go all the way around and so you don't have to pick it up. So watch just five times. Five times and look at that beautiful chopped bell pepper. I'm gonna do them a little bit finer because some people don't like their food real chunky. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of that later so y'all don't have to watch. Then I like to use this bowl scraper to scrape everything into what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna saute that in just a few minutes, okay? And just to kind of soften it. You can tell I like to use uh, cutting boards right here. And now we're just gonna use half of an onion right here because this is a huge onion. My goodness. And let's see, I'm gonna take off, I should have done the peel first. It's pampered, not perfect. I'm gonna be using the citrus and onion peeler and y'all, this is one of those tools that you can get free whenever you place your order by midnight on Wednesday. You'll get this free whenever you order from me. <laughs> and again, if you wanna keep your order open, we can definitely do that. But there we go, isn't that easy? I love using this, this citrus and onion peeler. It comes with a white one or a green one. The green one is one I use on my citrus and it peels the fruit and uh, does a beautiful job on that. And now I just quartered these onions and now we're gonna be using the manual food processor. And y'all look at this wonderful knife. It's our chef's knife. Our knives have a lifetime warranty. And oh my, you're gonna love it. Sharp, sharp blade, silicone bottom so it doesn't slip and slide around. We're gonna put this whole onion in here. But before I do that, I wanna show y'all what the progress of the Velveeta cheese is. Hold on, let me wash my hands. Get that. Look at here. We're gonna take this. This is after three minutes with Rotel and that block of Velveeta cheese. And it's already steamy, look at that. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna be using the classic scraper, which you can get free whenever you spend $80 or more. You get to choose this one or that skinny scraper. Okay, so the Rotel is what makes it really, really melt nicely. And then that steam. Now, all I'm gonna do, look at that. No burn edges. You're not having to worry about the glass being hot. Just gonna put that just like that. Then I'll put the lid back on. This kind of goes concave like that. And then this one goes here. We'll put it in for another two minutes, okay? And that's all I do, okay? So now watch this in action. The handle comes up. I've got all that big old onion in there and here we go. Really beautiful sliced onions. Whenever you have purple onions, you can really, really tell. Look at that. Beautiful onions. I'm gonna do just a little bit more. And you know what? If the blade gets stuck, just kind of pick it up and shake it and then you can just keep going. There you go. And another tool that you definitely want to get is the mini mixing scraper. And this will get all of those veggies right here for you. And again, I'm just doing a little bit because I'm gonna do the rest of it tomorrow because I don't have all the ingredients. And so now I've got a lid that I can put on this and I will be adding my bell peppers for this so that I'll just mix them up really nicely. And then I'm gonna be adding mushrooms and I'll add cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. I'm gonna add salt and pepper to that chicken. Let me go ahead and do that salt and pepper so y'all can see that, okay? And I love my large group cutting board right here because that helps me spread out. And so I'm just gonna add a little bit of pepper. I don't measure some things. And then the salt. And then the recipe also doesn't say to melt your cheese ahead of time. You're supposed to kind of do that separately. But you know what? It's just so easy to do that. And, and then what I do is I add the cream of mushroom 
and uh, I'll add the cream of chicken. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. And then I saute the onion, the mushrooms, and the bell pepper, and everything is just great together, okay? So let me tell you about a few more things. I'll talk to you about these. The citrus and onion peelers, you get free whenever you place your order before midnight on Wednesday. You can also get the Twixit clips free. I talked to you about those last night. And then we also have the opportunity for you to choose either the teal mini hour serving spatula or the black one. And the black one must be in my dishwasher. No, nope. here it is. No, nope. I don't know where that one is. <laughs> it's somewhere. It's somewhere. So it's this, just like this except black. And I love this because it's nylon and so it's not gonna scratch the, your brownie pan or any of your pan bakeware. But it's also nice because it's real thin and so it gets underneath those cookies and biscuits. It's the best thing ever. And then another product that you could choose from are the nylon pan scrapers. And look at these, it has different edges for everything, everything. Pointy corners, a smooth corner, flat surface, a more curved surface. And it helps you scrape out all of that good stuff. This is the best pumpkin carpet, pumpkin um, scraper for insides. So you get this tool and then you get the My Safe cutter and you've got a pumpkin set, pumpkin carving set. This is, uh, it's great for toddlers for cutting waffles and sausage and hot dogs. Uh, I'm gonna be working with Nicholas on that this summer for him to be cutting his own hot dogs and sausages and pancakes and stuff. But it's safe, so they're not gonna worry about it. So tomorrow I'll be showing you more free products. Let me show you the cheese dip. And it's, it's, it's like completely done. And y'all, look at all the stuff I've been able to do while I'm waiting for that. I'm not having to worry about burning any cheese or anything. Let me just show you another tool that you could get free, the toaster tongs. These are for your toaster or things getting out of toaster. But I also use it to serve uh, things on a buffet, like a taco bar, baked potato bar, Hamburgers, you're serving meat, serving bacon, serving lettuce, serving cheese, serving onions, serving olives, whatever you want to serve. But it's also good for taking this out like that because sometimes that that um, steam makes it suck up right in there and you can't hardly get it off. So here is this. And look at that, y'all. Perfect, whoa, perfect cheese dip. Isn't it great? And y'all, I just store it in here as well. And then when it gets to the very end, what I do is I use it and I put it in my nonstick skillets, melt that a little bit, add eggs, and then add Julio chips, migas. You've got the best migas ever, and you don't have to go out to eat. There you go, they're just the best thing ever. So look at that nice creamy cheese dip done in five minutes. So then I'll be adding all the other liquid ingredients and the chicken and everything and mix it all up. Oh, I've got to make pasta too. That's another thing I didn't have. So I've got to go get that. Anyhow, word of the day. The word of the day is going to be, what should I say? How about if I say mm, can opener, okay? Let's say smooth edge can opener. So smooth edge can opener. Four words, message me that and you get 10 more tickets. Woohoo! Thank y'all for joining and have a wonderful evening. And please don't forget to message me if you have any questions or if you want to see some tools that you like, okay, that you want to see that I haven't shown you. Bye, guys.